Hello, welcome to the Painter's Poodle. Let's get started. Now I know this isn't the video I promised with a lot of animation and a lot of pizzazz, but it's taking longer to animate than I thought. Like, probably two weeks worth of animating. But that just will make the video all the better and I can't wait to post it. So I'm not actually sure what I'm gonna post next time. It could be the animation, but um, we never know, so you will see. Now you read the title. You know I'm drawing Polly from Amphibia through all her life stages. Well, not old, but you know, just baby, or in other words, now. Sprig's age, which I'm pretty sure is 10, and as an adult. I was really inspired to draw this because, well, DuckTales ended, so I'm on to Amphibia, and I can't wait for the third season, which if you didn't know is coming out this October, and I was really inspired to draw this because Amphibia is like one of the most fun shows to watch, it's funny, it's deep and it's entertaining. Polly is one of my favorite characters because she's feisty and she's cute, so yeah. I was also inspired to make this video because um, in the last episode, Polly got legs and if you don't watch it, she's a tadpole. And so I started thinking into the future of her and all of those like frog development stages and stuff. So I decided to um, picture this and envision this in my own art style, I guess. My art style was pretty similar to Amphibia's art style. I like round shapes and big eyes, but I guess that made it funner to draw. If you haven't noticed by now, I'm a big Disney Channel fan. So let me know in the comments what's your favorite Disney show because I wouldn't mind drawing a picture from it. Also, if you're utterly confused and you're wondering what Amphibia is, then here's the premise of the show. It's about a young teen girl named Anne who magically gets transported to a marshy place called Amphibia, where she meets a frog family called the Planners. She meets her future best friend, Sprig, and his little sister, Polly, and their grandfather who's taking care of them, Hot Pop. And they go on lots of adventures together, and it's a fun show with good morals. Yeah. But the overall objective is to get Anne home and reunite with her friends. It's a good show. I suggest you watch it. In my DuckTales video, I chose to use a picture reference to draw, but this time, I decided to make it funner for myself and actually watch the show while I was drawing. It gave me like better expressions for the characters as they moved, and I didn't have to keep flipping back to the reference and to my computer screen where I was drawing. So it made it a lot easier and funner. Also, if you're wondering what app I use to draw, I use Photoshop and I edit all my videos in Premiere Rush. You're probably wondering how it could take two weeks to make one animation. But let me just lay it down for you. 12 pictures equals one second. And 12 pictures can take a lot more than one second to draw. So 30 seconds, like my last video, took, well, 12 times 30. A lot. Or in other words, 360 pictures. 
Now I know why animated story channels take so long to come out with new videos. By the way, some of my favorite YouTube channels are Animation, Let Me Explain Studios, and Drongful Waffles. So you could check those out to see where I get my inspiration from. I decided to make her vest or sweater or whatever it's called the same color as her bow because I noticed that I hadn't actually given her a bow um, as an adult. And I'm thinking because bows are usually seen as childish things, but I still wanted her to have the same print so it could still remind you of Polly. Same old tadpole we know. So I added it to her vest and she looks pretty cool in it. I gave her buff arms because I wanted to represent how strong she aspires to be as she grows up. She always aspires to be like a warrior and stuff, so I thought this would be a good representation. By the way, I made a book. Links in the description. There's YouTubers out there with millions of subscribers, but I can't help but express my gratitude for all 19 of my subscribers. You know, if you get in my first 100 subscribers, then you can officially say that you were with me since day one. And you can brag about it in the comments, go ahead. Well, we've come to the end of this video. It's been a joy drawing with you, and can't wait to see you guys next time. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.